Hey guys, we're uh, working in the van again um, today. Um, my name is Dan and with Emily, we are uh, Rambling Ambition. And uh, as you can see behind me, we have some cabinets installed and uh, we finished up the garage and uh, as far as getting all the siding or the, the paneling in so that we can do some electrical work. So we are working on our 2019 Sprinter van uh, that used to be an Amazon delivery van that we're trying to convert over um, into a kind of adventure vehicle that we can uh, take for long periods of time. So uh, we're getting ready to build our electrical system and install uh, the electrical components of our Victron system um, on the walls. If this is something you're interested in, uh, please stick around for the video. All right, so for our inverter, uh, we went with the Victron Multi Plus um, 3000 watt inverter and it's got a 70 amp charger that goes along with it. Um, I, the whole, our whole electrical system will be Victron components. And uh, the reason I like Victron is I've used them before in different applications and had great success. They've got a great reputation. They've got great customer support. And the interface between all of the different types of electrical equipment um, that are gonna go into this van um, is pretty seamless. So um, I'm super happy with it. So we'll go ahead and get this mounted. We'll go over how to kind of hook everything up uh, in a later video, uh, but I just want to go through some of the install and placement of things, and then we'll kind of talk about how the system works. So on the bottom of the inverter, you got a couple of key things that are important. You've got power in from the shore power side. You got power out going to your AC stuff. And then you have a separate um, power out that goes to anything that you want to run only when um, the, the vehicle is plugged into shore power. Um, I don't know if we're going to use that or not. I've thought about hooking up a auxiliary battery charger for the vehicle battery. Um, so if we're ever plugged into shore power, um, then it's automatically going to keep the vehicle battery charged. And um, since our battery systems are completely separate, but I haven't decided on that yet. The last thing is the ground for the case. Um, so other than that, it, it's pretty simple. You can control everything either from your Victron app or through the touch display that we have that we'll be putting up front on the, uh, the large cabinet in the middle of the van. So to mount it, it comes with, I guess, their version of a French cleat, basically from a woodworking standpoint. And basically, this gets screwed in uh, where you're gonna mount it, and then the inverter sits on top of it, and when you have it in its final location, there are a couple holes in the base plate of this that you screw into the board, and then the inverter's not going anywhere. All right, <clears throat> we got it installed and hung where we want it, so I'll show you what the inside looks like real fast. The beauty of these inverters are they're, they're really simple machines. So um, it does a lot, but they're not hard to, to wire. So you can see here, so this is the AC in. So this is your shore power in and you have um, your line, your neutral and your ground. And that corresponds to the three wires um, that are coming in here. So this is your neutral, your ground, and then your line feed. Same on the way out. So you have an AC out, line, neutral, and ground. And then, so the main battery connections will come in here. So that you have the ability to have two separate connections. We're only gonna use one. So the positive of the battery terminal from the battery bank will come in here. The negative will come in here. And that basically sets our stuff up. So. This thing also has the ability to do some um, relays and some sensors and some other things if you want to hook them up through here. Uh, we're not going to use those features on this inverter because we're going to run everything through the Servo GX, which is kind of the brains of the matter. All right, so the next steps we got. So I got the uh, solar array isolator. So this takes uh, the power in from the solar and the power out from the solar so you can disconnect and connect the system. The next things we're going to deal with are the charging systems. So we have two Orion uh, DC to DC chargers. These take power from the alternator and um, 
start to charge the batteries uh, while the vehicle's running. Each one will pull 30 amps, so 60 amps total. And then we also have our solar charge controller to handle the 600 watts of solar from um, the roof of the van. And those are all gonna get mounted uh, right there. All right, so we have our MPPT charger. So power will come in from the solar out through through the switch to the PV side of the controller and then from here over to the battery uh, distribution system. On this side, <coughs> we have an Orion charger. So power and ground will come in, power out. And then this one will have power in and power out. We bought brought a... If you remember, uh, we brought a four gauge uh, wire from uh, the battery system, uh, distribution system underneath the seat. Uh, and uh, we'll show you the, how we wired all that uh, right now. All right, the reason we needed to get in here is to get to that common bus bar and uh, get to that last stud on the end where we're gonna put a 100 amp fuse. So we gotta take this bus bar off put the fuse in and then put it back down all right so we got the bus bar off and the 100 amp fuse um, for the two DC to DC chargers they'll be pulling 30 amps uh, each uh, so we have the adequate over protection so now we'll just hook the cables back up and get the uh, everything screwed back down all right so here's our extra circuit it's going to a battery switch, which then goes to a four gauge wire that runs back to the back. So we use the grounding stud and everything. And then we have this extra 80 amp circuit that's just sitting there. Um, I don't know why that is there. So uh, we're just going to leave it alone and put everything back together. Those cables will come into a uh, power point and branch off to two six gauge uh, wires that will go uh, from the power distribution point uh, to each one of the controllers. So um, it's only pulling 30 amps. And uh, um, so it's not a lot of, of current coming through it and it won't be running all the time. So we put a switch up um, on the driver's seat so that we can switch the uh, alternator charging on when we need to, uh, but we also have the way to control it so it's not always um, charging. So, all right, these three boxes are the heart of this power system. So, in here, we have the link shunt. So this is what measures all of the power coming in and power going out. So we have a good idea of how much power we've used, how much power we're using, and how much power we have left. So the battery power will connect um, to here and here as everything runs through the shunt first. From there, It'll go into two of these distributors. And what that does is the power will come from the batteries into the shunt, flow through the shunt, and these interconnect. And I'll show you how to do that when we get ready to mount, when we mount them. Um, and then from here, you have power going out to the inverter. You have uh, power going um, in from the solar charge controller. Yeah, power coming in from the uh, Orion and then the second Orion. And then on this side, uh, we'll have a uh, power going out to the two 12 volt um, uh, distribution ports. And then we have two open if we ever need to expand it to something else. So this is a great system. All of this talks to each other. Um, it's all fused individually, so the safety in this system is that each line is fused um, based on the charge current that's coming in and out of it. 
And then the Lynx shunt has a main fuse, a 300 amp fuse that protects the entire system. Um, so it's pretty neat how all this works together. All right, so the way all this works, So basically, um, and I, I won't make the connections because I got some work to do first, but basically these giant bus bars, they fit over that like that. And like so, and then this whole system is tied together. Um, so you have power coming in, negative and positive from the battery. There's a 300 amp fuse. This gets connected and you have power and grounds. <coughs> and then you ground the system and then they all talk to each other. All right, these come off. These come off with a 13 millimeter nut and you have a flat washer and a lock washer. I like to take a alcohol prep and just clean off the surface. And that just makes sure that anything from the manufacturing process gets cleaned off so that you have the best connection that you can. And then basically it just slides right down and mates perfectly. Flat washer, lock washer, flat washer, lock washer, and then the nut. And we'll do the same on this side. It just, like I said, make sure that it cleans off any oil or grease or anything that comes from your hands or just, you want that connection to be as strong and as sound as you want it. All right, and there it is all installed. So you have the distributor, you have the shunt, you have our two Orion chargers, the solar charge controller, our Victron Multi Plus, and then our um, solar isolator, uh, power isolator from the panels. So now all we have to do is get the batteries, wire everything together, turn all the power on, all that other stuff. That was kind of a quick uh, overview of um, how we are going to install the different Victron components we have. The one thing that we haven't put in yet is the Serbo uh, GX, which is the brains, and we'll do that uh, kind of last. I want to get all the, the wiring done and everything connected before we start, um, uh, before I put the brains in, because I want to know where it needs to go based off of where everything else is. Uh, so we got to manage some cables first uh, to do that. So. Uh, making progress slowly but surely so uh you know the garage is taking shape like i said we got the water heater installed um and uh we'll be working on the plumbing uh probably in the next video so i uh, hope you guys got uh something from the video i'll leave a link in the description below for all of the parts we used again we have an amazon affiliate account if you want to buy any of this stuff uh, consider using the links because it doesn't cost you any more but it does help us out so this is uh, Dan from Rambling Ambition, and uh, we'll see you next time.